This small hallway inside the visiting area of the Clark County Jail is one item on the long list of things that need to be upgraded. The guts of the building are fine, but the layout of the jail just isn't working anymore. Something has to change. For starters, overcrowding at the jail creates a big safety issue. The inmates are in the jail, in the pods, and the inmates kind of control what's going on. So it's not a good fix. You can't have as many people in. To give you an idea of how packed it is, the inmate pods were built for about 10 people. And on average, the pods have 25 to 30 people in them, according to Clark County Council Chair Mark Bolt. Rotate cots, uh, really there's no storage anywhere, it's very tight areas, uh, it just doesn't work at all. The inmate intake area doesn't work either. It's too small for the number of people going through it, which means law enforcement often end up waiting in the parking lot sometimes up to an hour before they can book someone. That time spent waiting is time officers could be responding to other calls in the community. And soon, with the jail at capacity, they'll have to release people they otherwise wouldn't. Until we get this remodeled, the real low-level offenses that we would have placed in our jail, uh, we're just going to book and release, which is a real safety issue. The county is currently looking at several different remodel options that could cost anywhere from $180 million to $300 million. To fund the project, the county would put a measure on the ballot to increase property taxes. The new jail would also require more staff, which the county says would be paid for with sales tax money. The county hopes to have a plan to present to the voters by next spring. In addition to upgrading the jail, the county is also looking for ways to decrease the number of people in and out of it. They're working to create more diversion programs that would address both mental health and substance abuse issues. Back to you.